cars. Yeah, so what, how do they do it? How do people grow tomatoes outside? I mean, see, I put them into grow, you know, right about February, March time. Take care of them, look after them, transplant them, bring them on, keep all the flies off them. When it's past the frost day, then I put them outside, look after them, water them, feed them with lots of fertilizers and stuff. And what do I get at the end? Green tomatoes. I never ever get those red ones. Those red ones that everybody else in the world gets. Me, I can't get them. I don't know why it is. I've looked at the ones for the short season, the short season ones. You know, I thought 50, 55 days is the whole give me to my but no, I don't know what it is. Perhaps it's this Finnish climate. It's conspiring, conspiring, I say, against me. So I would like to ask anyone out there, who has a tomato that will grow outside in a cold climate and having a short season? If you have that little secret, then pass it on to me, because I would like to know. Thank you very much. The problem with growing tomatoes outside in Finland is that they hardly ever ripen. So you have to find some tomatoes that are good for cold climates and that grow fast and mature and ripen quickly. This one here is Bloody Butcher. And over here is uh, Halvers. Uh, rose quartz uh, multiflora and you can see that the leaves are just going this is because of the cold nights here it's going down to almost at zero now and I have these a wonderful just look at well you can see that one there look at it it's just gone all sort of brown and horrible but this truss is completely covered in uh, small tomatoes but I'm going to cut this off I think I counted it one time there was over 70 flowers on, on this particular truss so I'm going to take that off and take it inside and let them mature inside because I'm going to lose them if I don't do anything okay look at this it's a wonderful tomato plant for producing trusses. I don't know how many tomatoes are on there but they're all green and uh, just so disappointed. Most likely if I had a greenhouse or the greenhouse up and running uh, these would be ready but I think I can still do something with them inside. I've got my shallots drying here in this shed so I thought I would also hang up these rose quartz multiflora to see if they'll ripen up here there are just tons of them I expect there's about 50-60 little tomatoes there it's a great pity they didn't ripen outside. Leaves are just going all yellow and crinkled and withered. And these are my Incas. Lovely big paste tomato, but they're going to die if I leave them out here. I'm not going to get anything off them. And that would have been my Inca's F1 paste tomato if it had only ripened. I'll hang them up in the shed and see what I can get from them.